Hello and welcome to Dirty Secrets of Scotland, Dirty Wee Secrets. We're on the north coast of Scotland and we're staying in a croft and in the garden of the croft there is a whole load of St George's mushrooms. So this is a little bonus foraging episode. This is a St George's mushroom and so called because they come out around St George's Day every year. In Scotland they come out a bit later, this is May and uh, and here they are. So the way you get them is you go down as far as you can, cut the stalk and what you're checking for here is to see if it's maggoted at all. If there was holes in the stem here that would mean that it was full of maggots but this one's absolutely perfect so it's a keeper. And then what I like to do is just clear away the dirt before you put them in your bag otherwise you end up with loads of dirty mushrooms so it's best to give them a little clear clear away of the dirt and the smell is amazing very sort of like I don't know like oatmeal amazing look at that beautiful things just cleaning them up as I said before I clean them in the kitchen as well but you don't want the dirt sort of falling into the top Beautiful. Put in the bag. There they are. So the reason that I'm using this bag, um, you can't use plastic because the mushrooms sort of sweat and it's, it's not nice. You don't want that. So it's better to use a basket ideally. And if you haven't got a basket, you want a cloth bag like this. Down here, you can see the hiders. This one's pretty obvious, but these ones, you need to move the grass to get to them. They're very, very good at hiding themselves. They're like me, they're always in camo. <laughs> Sarah's getting involved. I think you've got the biggest one so far. It's massive. There was more to it than I thought. It's a super mushroom. Oh God. Let's get the knife under. That's it. It's a monster! Ha! Complete with woodlouse. We don't want that. We can rehome the woodlouse. Extra protein that we don't need. No, we don't want woodlouse protein. Yeah. What was the issue? Slug central down there. Oh really? Blech. They were here first though. <laughs> Doesn't mean I have to like them. Oh, that's true. Thanks. Or touch them. <laughs> Got quite a haul going here. Nice view as well. Another one? Half a one. That'll do. You still eat it. This is a really well hidden one. Look at this, it's a big one as well. They're great at hiding. We s switch rolls. Oh. oh. Are you, are you gonna I'm getting it now. <laughs> Nice. Hairy mushroom. I'm going to make an omelette with these. Yeah, these ones as well. There's lots. I don't think we realised how many there was going to be. No, half of them are hidden. A fancy name. Like, they have a scientific name, yeah. But not like a French name. They have, a, I think the French, I don't know what it is, but the French name for them means the true mushroom. The French absolutely love them. Oh. They are very mushroomy, like classic mushroom shape. Mushrooms. Expert forager. <laughs> I'm learning. Yeah. Right nationality as well for St George's mushrooms. Yeah. Go cook them. Let's cook them up.
eggs, beaten. Olive oil, mushrooms, fry. Add butter. Add eggs. Serve.